I am Melanie Marcelino, Senior Sales Executive for Daniels. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Daniels SharpSmart container. Instructions on how to use a Daniels SharpSmart container. Disposal of Sharps. 1. To open the container, slide the front catch to the left and lift the lid until it locks and stays open. The tray will drop to rest. 2. To deposit sharps into the container, drop the sharps horizontally onto the tray. The tray will automatically tip the sharp into the container and return to its original horizontal position. 3. Light sharps may not activate the tray. If sharps remain on the tray, manually nudge the lip of the tray from below to dispose. Temporary closure. 1. When the container needs to be moved, press both side supports inwards and close the lid. 2. Do not slide the side locks as this will permanently close the container. 3. Slide the front catch fully to the right to lock. 4. Temporary closure can be used when transporting the container from one ward to another ward. Permanent closure. 1. The container has a liquid seal that ensures no leakage during transportation. 2. The clear view window identifies the full level of sharps within the container. 3. The tray will turn vertical once the container has reached maximum capacity and will remain locked in this position. 4. The word full underneath the tray will now be permanently visible. 5. When the container is full, press both side supports inwards and close the lid. 6. Depress the red tabs on both sides and slide the locks completely forward. 7. The side locks will ensure permanent closure. 8. Slide the front catch fully to the right to lock. 9. Lift the handle and remove the container from the cart smart or bracket. 10. Transport the full container to the sluice room. Safety rules. 1. Always ensure that the tray is empty of sharps. 2. Never place your hands beyond the tray lip. 3. Do not recap the needle before disposal. 4. Do not denotch the needle before disposal. 5. Always dispose sharps and sharp safety devices into sharps containers. 6. Always close the container before moving the container. 7. Do not deface or write on the container. 8. Refer to the usage instructions outlined on the front of the container.